countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. Far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future. Adventures in which you'll live in a million could be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of astounding science fiction, presents X minus one. Tonight's story, A Logic Named Joe, by Murray Leinster. It was on the third day of August that Joe came off the assembly line. And on the fourth, Maureen came into town. And that afternoon, I saved civilization. Maureen is a blonde I was crazy about once, and Joe is a new 1974 model logic that I've got stored away down in the cellar. And how do I save civilization? You're listening now to a voice from the future. The the voice of Frank Caldwell, head service man for the Logics Corporation, makers of the machine that does everything for you. Well, nearly everything, anyway. The electronic logic... uh, In the year we speak, 1974, no modern home was complete without one. And the logic sets were working so well that life was soft indeed for repairman Frank Caldwell. That is, until that fatal day of August the 3rd when suddenly the logics began doing everything for their users and doing it too well. On the 3rd of August, there wasn't much doing, and I'm hanging around the boss's office smoking up his cigars. Frank, there's a customer outside. Go take care of him, will you? Me? I'm a maintenance man. Mr. Korlanovich wants to have logics explained to him. Explained? Where's he been, on Mars? Oh, he just moved up from the backwoods someplace. Well, why don't you explain him? Well, I, I don't feel too well. You were okay half an hour ago. Are you the boss here or am I? Go on out there, will you? Okay, okay. Oh, Mr. Korlanovich? Good morning. My name is Caldwell. Can I help you? Oh, thank you, Mr. Caldwell. This is my little boy, Freddy. Hi, you jerk! Oh! <laughs> Freddy, how many times have I got to tell you not to kick people in the shin? Excuse it, please, Mr. Caldwell. Oh, sure, sure. Just a kid. I got a knife home, could cut you into little pieces. Please, Freddy. Uh, uh, we'd like to buy a logic, Mr. Caldwell. The gentleman we spoke to first said he had to leave in a hurry. I'll fix him. Well, I understand that you're not acquainted with logics, Mr. Kolanovich. That's right. We just moved to the city. Uh huh. My wife, uh, she saw everybody else had a logic, and you know how women are. Oh, you bet. Well, you can't get along without a logic in this day and age, Mr. Kalanovich. Look, I got a snake. You want to see? Well, you shut that. Uh, Now, about the logic. Here, I'll just plug in this one right here. Now, you see, the logic looks kind of like an old-fashioned television set, only it's got keys instead of dials. Now, a lot of the keys are standard, like uh, the television stations, the news, the stock market quotes, and so on. Of course, if you want to talk to somebody, you just punch the number of his logic. It's, it's like making an old-fashioned phone call. But there can't be keys for everything. Oh, no, 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 no. Now, let, let, let's say that you want to ask a question, like uh, what to take for a sore throat, or uh, who won the American League pennant in 1911. You turn on the logic, then you just punch the question key and ask, like this. Who was the first president of the United States? There, you see. But I already knew that. Well, of course, that, that was just a sample. Uh, I, I got a little store. Will it keep books for me? It will keep your books, record your contracts, serve as a filing system, and check up on what happened to your lawyer's last client. Anything. Hey, they're really something, these things. 10,000 services and information sources in one. Read our advertising. What I want to know, Mr. Caldwell, how do these logics work? Of course. Now, you saw that big building across the street... Sure. Well, that's one of the relay tanks. 
You see, there are a dozen of them all around the country, and they're all hooked up together. And there's a data plate in one of those tanks for every fact in creation. Anything that you want to see or hear, you just punch for it, and the logic gives you the answer. Hey, listen. Could I ask this thing how to make dart poison? How to make what? Dart poison. Like in Africa. I could shoot the darts through my bean shooter. Maybe... I think maybe we'd better not get one of these things. Oh, no, 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 no. It's perfectly all right, Mr. Kolonovich. The logic won't tell you that. I bet it will. I'm going to try it. Hey, how do you make thought poison? Public policy forbids this service. Oh, what did it do that for? I kind of some little brat. Uh, because some people might ask things that aren't good for them. Listen, I don't like this here one. I want that one over there. The kid, they're all alike. I want that one. If I can't have that one, I'm going to hold my breath till I'm dead. Well, i got a lot of time. It's no use, Mr. Crowell. You might as well give him the one he wants. But look, kid, they're so much alike that even I can't tell them apart. I can. I want Joe. Joe? Who's Joe? I guess he means the logic, Mr. Crowell. He has to think up a name to call everything. You should hear some of the names he calls me. Not till I'm 21. I promised Mother. Okay, so we call him Joe. But them things are all alike to one ten-thousandth of an inch. I don't care. I bet he'll teach me how to make dart poison. <sighs> okay, then. Come on, Joe. So he keeps yelling, I want that one. I want that one. I'm going to call him Joe. Mike, I tell you, I could have wrung his neck. How many cards? Uh, I'll draw two. What a holy terror. He had his father scared to death. Too bad that kid ain't mine. I'd show him quick enough who was boss in the family. Uh Uh-oh, holy smoke. What's the matter? I'm sorry, fellas. I got to hold up the hand a minute. I just remembered. Oh, I got to call my wife. Let her wait. You ever met my wife? Hey... What's the matter with this thing? It ain't getting my house. Announcing new and improved logic service. Hmm? Your logic is now equipped to give not only consultative, but directive advice. Hmm? If you want to do something and don't know how to do it, ask your logic. Hey, did you guys hear that? Well, they should have told us about this. Oh, it's just somebody trying to pull a gag. Well, it didn't sound like a gag to me. Uh, maybe the boss decided to add a new logic service. Look, the minute the system starts giving advice, some joker like you is going to be asking questions like, uh, how do I get rid of my wife? Oh, no. The boss knows better than to start anything like that. Yeah, but you heard what the logic just said. Oh, listen, the sensor circuits will block the question. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try it. Well, anything for a gag. Okay, logic, I got a question for you. How do I get rid of my wife? Did I hear that? Uh, she's a blonde. Exicrylobinatine is a constituent of green shoe polish. Take home a frozen meal containing pea soup. Color the soup with green shoe polish. This poison is fatal to blonde females only. This fact is a product of logic service. You cannot be convicted of murder. It is improbable that you will be suspected. The saints preserve us. And it's bound to be right. These things can't make a mistake. Well, Mike, don't just stand there. Check the sensor circuits quick. Oh, we can't get to them. They're all sealed up. It's supposed to be impossible for them to go out of order. Well, they're out of order now. And I got a feeling that some awful things are going to happen. We've got to do something. The logics have gone nuts. Now, relax. The thing gave a goofy answer once. Maybe it was a joke. But... It was an accident. Now, forget it. It won't happen again. What makes you so sure? People are going to be trying it. Look, look, supposing I wanted to get rid of you, for instance. You don't. How would you collect your pay? I know, but just supposing. Now, look, we'll try it. If you want to do something and don't know how, ask your logic. How do I bump off my boss? Male, fat, bald-headed, and 45. Uh. Make 
some chocolate ice cream containing powdered charcoal in place of half the chocolate. Use Hotso brand charcoal. Hotso contains an ingredient fatal only to fat, bald-headed males. This fact is the product of logic service. Now, 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 look, Frank, I admit these things have gone a little wacky, but there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about? If this keeps up, what do you bet that we'll have to shut down the company? You kidding? We can't shut down the company, and you know it. Logics have taken the place of everything but night baseball. We shut them down, we go back to a civilization that we've forgotten how to run. Yes, but, boss, there's no telling what they'll do. Listen, now, you've asked these questions for a gag. Nobody's going to ask them seriously. What you need is a little faith in human nature. Excuse me, it's probably my wife. Clarence, dear, how do you feel? Why, just fine, sweetheart. What have you been doing? I just called to tell you, Cyrus. I've got your favorite dessert for dinner. A, a, a dessert? What kind? Chocolate ice cream. Oh, no, 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 this, this can't be happening. Why, this, this is awful. These logics are dangerous. Have a little faith in human nature. Now, Caldwell, you're the head of the maintenance crew. I'll give you 24 hours to fix these logics or you're fired. Well, now, look, boss. What I are mean... you standing there for? Get in the service car. Get moving. Where? Yeah. Anywhere. Find out what the logics are up to and see that you find out before the logics do. <laughs> Bartender, bartender, give me a double. Coming up. Last night, uh, have a little drink, pal. What's the matter, pal? You had a bad day? Oh, excuse me, bud. Listen, pal, you got to listen. I got troubles. Bartender, will you get this bar fly off of me? On your waist. Oh, I'm... don't, don't say that. I got troubles. How am I going to keep my wife from finding out I had a couple little drinks? How am I going to do it, huh? Look, mister, it's a hot day, and I've been driving a car around in it, see? And I've been trying to keep a bank president from having apoplexy on account of his logic told him how to rob his own bank. I've been trying to stop six-year-olds from asking what comes after the bees and the flowers and their fathers from asking how to get a million dollars by tomorrow. I've been tripping over dead bodies so artistically croaked that nobody's ever going to find out who done it, and all you've got on your mind is how... How am I going to keep my wife from finding out I've been drinking? Dry up, will you? Go ask a logic. My pal, my boy, where's the logic? Uh, Where's that logic? Here, right behind you. Here, Uh, here's a nickel. uh, That's what I got to hear. Now, come on, logic, old pal. Old pal, be nice. How does a guy keep his wife from finding out he's had a couple of little drinks? Answer me that, huh? Buy a bottle of Franine hair shampoo. It is harmless, but contains an ingredient which instantly neutralizes alcohol. One teaspoonful for each jigger you have consumed. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Gotta buy a bottle of... Gotta buy a bottle of... Uh, what was that again? Supposing it's right, you'll never remember it as far as the drugstore. I think there's a bottle in the back room. Somebody left it. Oh, my pal. Oh, my boy. No more trouble. You're going to show me the way it goes. <laughs> I got a picture of him back there drinking that shampoo. Yeah. Give me another double. Uh, I don't know what's worse, to be as low as you or as high as him. Where is he? I know he's here. Where is that bum? What do you want, lady? My husband. I know he's here. Where is he? That's him, that no good louse. I'll show him. <laughs> Thinks he's coming home staggering again, does he? Well, I'll teach him. Poor guy. Why, my dear, what a surprise to see you here. Archibald, you're sober. Of course, my love. I'm sober as a judge. Then what are you doing in this saloon? Your suspicion wounds me deeply, my love. Let me tell you, my dear, that I have been conducting a research project that is going to make us a fortune. I'm going to patent Soba, the drink that makes happy homes. Look at this blot I called, well, blank. The greatest crime wave in history, and we can't even make an arrest. They're all perfect crimes. Thanks to the logic. But, Sergeant, we're doing our best to find out. Well, that's not good enough. You can't find out what's back of this. Shut down the company. 
Well, the police department will. Well, nobody is back of it. The logics run themselves. They pick their own circuits automatically. Ah, uh, you mean they're, they're doing all this by themselves? Sure. We always knew they could do a lot more things than, than we knew about. I, I think they're just trying to be helpful, that's all. That's all, huh? Well, you better make them cut out the tricks, including this new business they're up to now. What new business? Just started an hour ago. Every time you turn on a logic, it asks your name, and then it spills out the whole history of your life. What? I haven't heard about that. Well, what to do that for? You tell me. Go on. Go ahead. Try it. Okay. What is your name? How do you like that? I'm Frank Caldwell. Frank Caldwell. Were you ever called Ducky? Ducky? Wow. Lay you off, will you, fellow? What if I was? It's been years. Ducky? There is a call for you. Hello, Ducky. Holy cats. Lorraine. Ducky, darling, how marvelous. Hey, let me get a look. Gosh, Lorraine, where are you? I'm in a hotel. I just got into town. Oh, Ducky, wasn't it smart of the logic to find you? The logic? To find me? I asked it how to find Ducky. You must have an unlisted number, darling. You're not in the directory. Well, uh, gee, uh, how have you been, Lorene, since since I saw you last? I, I heard you got married. You won't believe me, Ducky, I know, but I've had four husbands, and I've never loved anybody as much as I love you. You've divorced four husbands? Three. The last one, um, died unexpectedly. Oh, who unexpected it? He did. But the jury acquitted me, Ducky. They knew it was just a little old accident. So now I'm free again. And we got lots of things to talk over. You come right on over here, Ducky. In. Oh, well, Lorraine, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm working, you see, and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll call you back. All right. Here's a kiss. <laughs> That'll have to hold you till you get here. Hurry. Oh, my back. What am I going to do? <laughs> do like you were telling me a while ago. Huh? <laughs> Calm yourself, ducky. Call on the logic for you, Frank, your wife. Oh, thanks, Mike. Hi, Gerd. Frank, I've been trying to get you for an hour. Where you been? I've been out making calls, honey, trying to find out what ails these logics. Well, you better find out in a hurry or there's going to be trouble. Now, now, look good. Now, just take it easy, Frank huh? Frank Caldwell, you can't let this happen to me. They're asking everybody's name. And when you tell your name, it wheels off your whole history. Well, honey, I don't think they're doing that anymore. I think that was just, just temporary. Well, in the meantime, it's told everybody in the neighborhood all about me. I punched Mrs. Hudson's name. She's been married three times, and she's had Mr. Hudson arrested twice for non-support and once for beating her up. It'll tell anybody else. Yeah, but look, good. I'll tell you. Frank, you stop these things or I'm going to leave you. Oh, honey, you don't mean that. I do. If you can't figure out how to keep our private lives out of every logic in town, then I'm through, and that settles it. I can't even budge any of these relay plates. Yeah, me either. Isn't there some way we can disconnect them? Nope, there is not. They weren't built to be disconnected. The census circus was supposed to take care of cutting them off. Now, see who that's for, Frank. Hello, Ducky, darling. Oh, Lorene, not again. Ducky, darling. I'm so lonesome. Why haven't you come over? Well, I... I've been busy. Oh, poor Ducky. Look, let's get married. Gosh, Lorene, I... Well, what I mean is... Right away, Ducky. You're not busy tonight, are you? Look, Lorene... I got married. Oh, poor boy. My poor ducky. Well, we'll just get you out of that. No, 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 no. Now, look, Lorene. It's all arranged, darling. I'll just call up your wife and have a little talk. No, now, please, Lorene. I mean, it's nice of you to think of me and all, but I... Yeah, you, you just give me your address and your logic number, darling. Uh, I haven't got one. Never mind, darling. The logic will find out for me. Lorene. Lorene? Hey, Frank, will you get away from that thing and give me a hand? Yes, Mike, in a minute. First, I've got to call my wife. No. We gotta get out of town. Oh Lord, I made a, a mistake. 
Frank, you're supposed to be helping Mike. Yeah, I am, boss. I am, but I've got to make this call. Call? What do I care about your call? The president's getting ready to close down the company and declare martial law. Now, for the love of heaven, do something. Yes, boss, I will. I will. I've just got to make this one call before the logics get on my trail. To assist in solving a special problem of logic service, kindly give the following information if possible. Where does Frank Caldwell live? They got me. I'm through. Look, Gert, will you please not ask any more questions? Frank Caldwell, I told you I was leaving you. Honey, leave me later. Right now, will you pack up yourself and the kids? We've got to get out of here. But what is all this? Uh, are the cops after you or something? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it, the cops. Now, get moving, honey, will you? And will you get away from that logic? Uh, but don't you think we ought to hear the police call? 27 and car 31. Detail to round up all employees of the logics company. Use caution. They are suspected of sedition. Holy smoke, the cops are after me. But you car just said they were. Car 17, proceed to vicinity of 119 East 7th Street. Child terrorizing neighborhood. Use extreme caution. Child is armed with bean shooter using poison darts. Freddy. Who's Freddy? Something I met once in a horrible nightmare. He wanted a logic that would tell him how to make dart poison. They're all alike, I kept telling him. They're all alike. What are you talking about? Oh, I don't know, Gert. All I know is it was a nice world up to yesterday. Now it's 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 like a guy named Joe come along and squashed all our mud pies for us. Looks to me like more like it was a logic named Joe. Well, What'd you say? A logic name, Joe. A logic name? But they're all alike. Good, good baby. Frank. Frank, let me go. Don't be so silly. All right, honey, look, you hold the fort. Maybe they aren't all alike. Where are you going? Frank, are you going to make a getaway? Getaway, baby. If you've got the right inspiration, I'm going straight to the middle of this whole jamboree. Yet? Oh. I was hoping it was the police. You remember me, Mr. Kolonovich? Caldwell of the Logics Company? Logics Company? I wish the Logics Company was at the bottom of the ocean. I don't blame you, believe me. Now, where's your logic? In here. I'd smash it into a million pieces if... I wasn't afraid of what Freddy would do to me. Look, just, just get out of the way, will you? I've got business with Joe. If you want to do something and don't know how, ask your logic. Oh, we're back to that routine, hmm? Well, I want to do something, all right. Can a logic be modified to achieve correlations for which human brains are too limited? Yes. How great will the modifications be? Microscopically slight. Changes in dimension not detectable even by precision gauges. They can come about only through an extremely improbable accident. And what would this super logic then be able to do? Come on, you spill it. It could set up entire new combinations of electronic relays, which would bypass the normal sensor blocks thereby enabling it to perform valuable new services, including the giving of helpful advice on any human problem. Uh Uh-huh. And has this accident ever happened? Come on, come on. It has happened only once in the case of the logic now owned by the Kolonovich family of 119 East 7th Street. A logic named Joe. Thanks, Joe. That's all I wanted to know. Hey, what's all that about? I'm taking this logic away, Mr. Kolonovich. I'll bring you a new one, and our troubles are all over. Hey, you, get away from Joe. Correction, our troubles are just beginning. Freddy, put down that blow gun. Oh, shut up. Hey, you, I said get away from the logic. Look, look, Freddy, I'm going to bring you a nice new one, see? I want that one. Get your mitts off it. I got in a speech to eat lemonade. Mr. Caldwell? Mr. Caldwell, the police, they're outside. Yeah, for me and Freddie. 
Nuts. What they want you for? You ain't smart enough to do nothing. Oh, no? Hey, there's plenty I could tell you. Look, there's the cops, kid. It's you and me against them. So what you gonna do about it if you're so smart? Now, look, we may have to fight our way out. Let me see that blowgun. I know a way to hop it up so the cops won't have a chance. Now, come on, come on, give it to me. Okay, let's see what you can do. Here. Thanks. Here. Mr. Caldwell, you're a great man. Now all I got left to do is pull this plug out of the wall. Come right in, Sergeant. Well, that must be the kid. He don't look so tough to me. Well, he just got a little softening. There'll be no more complaints, officer. I guess I can go on where Mr. Caldwell left off. Caldwell? Hey, you wanted... Now, look, I just came to pick up this busted logic. I don't know a thing. You said that before. Come on, you're going to the cooler. Let's go. Wait a minute. You act like you wanted to go to jail. Well, just till a certain party leaves town. I, uh, got a feeling it's safer. Okay, then, Caldwell, into the paddy wagon you go. Thanks, officer. You may be saving my life. Now, if you'll just help me carry this logic out... Wait a minute. You, uh, you can't take that in the wagon. I can't? Why not? There's no room. We already got a dame in there who's raising the roof. A dame? Yeah, a blonde. Plain clothesman picked her up trying to buy a gun without a permit. Keep screaming she's going to miss her date with the uh, ducky. You have just heard X-1, presented by the National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of astounding science fiction. Tonight, by transcription, X-1 has brought you A Logic Named Joe. Adapted for radio by Clarice Ross from the story by Murray Leinster. Featured in the cast were Mandel Kramer, Wendell Holmes, Guy Rep, Bill Zuckert, Walter Kinsella, Bob Hastings, Joseph Julian, Joey Fallon, Mary Lou Forster, Ann Thomas, and Mary Patton. Your announcer, Fred Collins. X-1 was directed by Daniel Sutter and is an NBC Radio Network production. Next week, X-1 will bring you a dramatization of Robert Heinlein's famous science fiction masterpiece, The Roads Must Roll. It concerns the day when traffic became so impossible that the engineers took over and banned all automobiles, tore up the superhighways, and built huge me mechanized roads which whirled along on giant rotors at speeds up to 100 miles an hour. An engineering miracle changed the face of the nation. The rolling roads took over. No one worried about the fact that if the road should stop, our whole economic life would fall apart. The machinery, they said, was perfect. But they forgot that machinery depends on men, and men are not perfect. Be sure to tune in next week at a new time, same day, for another exciting broadcast of X-1.